Fuck all you hoes. Get a grip, motherfucker. Packing gats and stuff now. Honeys play me close like butter play toast. From the Mississippi down to the East Coast. Condos and queens in dough for weeks. Sold out seats to hear Biggie Small speak. Hey there, YouTube. It's Justin the Snap-On Junkie. How the fuck are you guys doing today? Alrighty, so today I got a little tool haul and uh, some stuff that I've been pondering on buying. I've just been going back and forth on which ones I really wanted to buy. So I settled on these. Uh, what I've been looking for is some pretty good striking cap screwdrivers that are made to be like a chisel, really, is what I'm looking for. Like, uh, Snap-on doesn't make any, so, <clears throat> you know, I was trying to find and... I may get some other ones just to try them out, but anyway, I'll show you what I got here. So, what I bought was the Weera uh, Striking Cap Screwdrivers. Okay, now I bought these on the thing that I thought that they were a little bit different design than what they are, but this still works. It's just a little bit different. I will tell you that it's basically called their Chisel Drivers. Um, they have a good hex here so you can get extra torque and the striking cap part is very solid um, What it is is it's just a little flush mounted and on uh, I bought every one in the series that they had Especially on the straight blades. Um, I felt like uh, you know Everybody uses screwdrivers as kind of like a little chisel and pry bar and all that stuff So I thought well fuck it, you know, I'll, I'll buy these so I'm gonna try these. Uh, I really like the black and yellow colorway, though. I, or you know, the handle colorway. That's really nice. But I thought that get back to. I thought that this striking cap. I couldn't find any good pictures of it. I thought this striking cap would be a little bit different design. I thought it would be a little bit bigger. But they've done a really good job to transition this right here, where you really can't tell that it's a striking cap screwdriver. So. What I did is I bought every size. Now the smallest size is 0.6, okay? And what these have is a real wide tip. Focus. Fucking, there you go, there you go. So if you could see the tip on these bastards, it's really fucking wide, you know? Um, the only one, the only one that doesn't have a striking cap is this small one, okay? And that's the six millimeter one. But I bought that one, uh, the, uh, the kind of the next size up uh, the next size up from that and then that and then I bought two Phillips now here in America we don't really use palsy drive all that much or at least I've never ran across it you guys can fucking leave a comment if you've ever ran across it I've never really run across it the most two common sizes are number two and really number three now I will tell you that these are the heaviest screwdrivers I've ever kind of felt in my life you know and also I got these two big motherfuckers here look at them bastards but anyway uh, this is the 14 inch by 250 um, I'm guessing they're saying that this is 250 which either, no, it must be the cross section let me get a let's get a mic out and see what they're talking about 250 here nope that's only 110 and that's 500 so I don't know what they're talking about 250 yeah that's too big I don't know, fuck I don't know I really don't fucking know but what I will tell you about these is the bigger sizes I did not know this the 12 and the 14 uh, you know their striking cap is a little bit smaller if you can see that you know so I really don't know how I feel about that I kind of like this a little bit better but we're gonna try these Weira chisel screwdrivers here. Uh, I thought it would be something cool to own, uh, so I bought these. And yes, I bought these at KC Tool. Uh, the dude Ryan over there hooked me up. I'm gonna leave a link in the description uh, if you guys would like to purchase anything from uh, KC Tool. Uh, click that link in the, the description, and what that does is it helps support my channel, and you know. I get credit for you guys buying stuff through there. You know, it doesn't have to be anything that you buy there. You know, they just released the Hazet stuff, which is kind of the snap-on of the German world. Um, they did send me a catalog. I want to buy some stuff there, but it was a little pricey, like uh, snap-on type prices. But anyway, 
Um, so I thought I'd try these screwdrivers, and the whole set basically cost me a uh, hundred and you know the whole set was like a hundred and fifty two dollars and then you know I got a, a discount on it uh, you know basically they hooked me up and they gave me a t-shirt and shit like that so those guys over at KC Tool are pretty cool they have a whole bunch of German stuff like I said before uh, check those guys out you know and I bought something else this week that I thought was pretty cool that I've seen on another YouTubers channel but it just took me a little bit to find it and that is this so a lot of people might know what this thing is it's the Chinese fiddle as I call it you know other people call it the sweetest nut rounder but it's got the hammer on it dude and this thing is pretty fucking cool you know it's a crescent wrench that you can fucking hammer on shit and it has this down here a uh, little 12 point socket I don't know what size it is I, I've never figured that out but um, it's just a cool little tool so I thought we'd just buy this to have fun with this and I found this at McMaster car uh, for 54 bucks and I don't know who made it it's called miners or Rass all maybe that's who made it I don't really know but the finish is actually really good and it works really good you know for the Chinese fiddle with hammer end which is pretty cool you know and we can tap on these striking cap screwdrivers and I tried just a little bit earlier just you know before I shot this video of striking this stuff on there and wow you know the striking cap feels really solid on these weird screwdrivers so I think that they'll work pretty good as a chisel you know because they're wide and they're gonna be not as long you know sometimes there's big pry bars you can't get them into fucking certain spots so I thought man I could use some striking cap screwdrivers so I've been going back and forth you know on that but uh, you know I don't really have anything that we can try a demonstration on uh, right now um, so let's move on from that but anyway that's what I bought uh, today uh, it came in. I bought it last week, so I thought I'd share with you. Alrighty, guys. So uh, just to tell you a little bit about what's going on in um, you know Justin's world this week. Uh, let's see. So the the truck started working uh, this week pretty heavily. Uh, you know we're pretty much on four shifts a day. Uh, that means two during the day and two at night. So it's getting pretty busy pretty quick, but. Uh, you know, I'm having a hard time uh, finding truck drivers, uh, just good, reliable people. Um, I thought I had that problem solved. Uh, you know, I hired four. Um, you know, I don't think one's going to work out. I think the other one's going to be all right. But uh, one might not work out. But then I got some devastating news. Uh, one of my good drivers, uh, uh, he told me that he was leaving uh saturday so i've been kind of frustrated with that it kind of put me in a little bit of a funk because i thought i had everything under control and he's leaving in you know uh two weeks he did say he would give me his two weeks and i told him that i could use him for two weeks um so now i gotta find uh you know another driver and uh right now you know it's just it's really difficult i don't know what's going on uh you know i pay really good uh you know uh all that type of jazz I just don't know uh, what the deal is he said he had to leave for personal reasons it was nothing uh, that I did wrong or anything like that you know I just you know I kept the guy working through the winter and I thought he would stay with me but you know things change and I would say in business that's the hardest thing um, that I've had to run across is finding drivers to be honest with you uh, or you know finding employees uh, you know I have Nick during the day which Nick is absolutely a you know he is really good uh, <clears throat> so <clears throat> you know I thought that uh, this other guy was gonna run night shift for me uh, and he could be my go-to guy on nights but uh, he, he you know he had some other plans so uh, that's that's kind of frustrating but 
you know, I'll just use this time. Uh, if anybody's out there and they live in the Cincinnati area and they want a good dump truck driving job, uh, you know, uh, get a hold of me in the email section and, you know, we'll talk about it. But, you know, I have two shifts available. I have day shift and one night shift position available. I'm just looking for people. I mean, I put ads in paper and on Facebook trying to, you know, drum up some even people to talk to and shoot nobody's called me so I it's kind of uh, weird you know last year I put an ad in the paper and I had like 20 some phone calls this year I can't even get one you know and I'm it's kind of frustrating so that's all about the trucking business I just thought I'd share that with you it's hard to get good employees I don't know if you people out there are employees of people you know but as running your own business the hardest thing that I've ran across it's not finding work, it's not doing anything like that, it's finding employees and finding people that, you know, uh, <clears throat> want to work. And what kind of makes me mad is I made some commitments to do some other stuff this year. And, uh, you know, I'm a type of guy that I, if I tell you I will do something, I will do it. You know, I will, you know, fulfill my commitments, you know, and that's going to hurt me a little bit here on the trucking side unless, you know, I can find some employees in two weeks here. But, you know, I'm sure that something will come up. But anyway, uh, what else do I got? Oh, my, uh, one of my good friends, uh, you know, I'm not going to mention his name, but uh, he was working somewhere else. And he just decided, uh, you know, this week to uh, <clears throat> have, start his own business. Uh, he's going to start. Uh, doing some lawn care stuff, cutting grass. I mean, that's what he's been doing for 10 years. And he left another friend of ours company to start his own, which I'm pretty proud of him. Uh, that's a big step, you know. So he came down tonight and, uh, you know, he wanted to know if he could keep his mower and stuff here uh, in his little trailer that he bought just because it would be locked up and secured in my building. And I told him, yeah, no problem. You know, I mean, I'm here to help. Uh, like I told him, you know, when I first started, nobody really helped me out. I had to figure a lot of this stuff out on my own, you know, like where to put all my stuff and, you know, how to get work and, you know, how to start your company and do all that type of stuff. I mean, it's not easy, you know, if you don't get the paperwork right from the beginning, it can get ugly quick, you know. So I told him that I'd help him out, you know. I mean, he was worried about that he'd have to buy some tools and things like that. And I told him, you know, I said, no, you know, it's, as long as your stuff's here, you can use uh, my stuff or me and you will work on it. And, you know, so, uh, you know, I'll go out there and I'll show you his mower here in a little bit. But so this is my buddy's mower, uh, you know, that he just bought in his trailer and all that stuff. So we got it shoved here in the shop, you know, which uh, my guys will be able to get the trucks in and all that stuff. But. I mean, this is a pretty nice little setup he got here. So I'm pretty proud of him that he's going out on his own and he's, you know, going to start his own business. I think that's great. So this is his mower, so I'm sure I'll get pretty familiar with working on this sometimes. You know, like I ain't got enough shit to do. But, you know, it's a friend, so I'm going to help him out because that's what, uh, when you have a long-term friend, I mean, goddamn, it's been... 25 years I've known this guy so uh, you know I'll help him out as much as I can uh, by him keeping his stuff here in the shop we'll do that he actually uh, did help me uh, sweep the floor so that's uh, a good thing but this is his little mower he bought and his trailer is pretty nice so we got this all shoved in here and moved around in the shop but other than that you know that's it well, that's what's been going on uh, today uh, just you know frustrating stuff uh, I'm sure that you know people out there be like oh man you, you know you people don't want to work for you because you're an asshole really I'm not I'm actually easy going you know I mean I don't talk to my drivers all that much unless they call or whatever I'm not a big babysitter but you know anyway just to get off that because I'm sure I'm gonna get some hater comments I mean you guys just love to bash me when you don't know if I can really shit about what you're talking about. I think it's funny sometimes. That's why I haven't been answering that many comments lately. I'm just kind of burnt out on the comment section. Like people leave comments and then, you know, they're just half the time. It's like, dude, you guys are just, you know, 
you know, I can see why there's not that many tool YouTubers. I'm starting to get why that is. It's because, uh, you know, we give opinions on what we own and everybody's got to bash you. And I don't know what that stems from. Is that because, you know, they see us out here, uh, you know, talking about what we got, you know, and I don't know if it's a little bit of jealousy or envy or what the fuck it is, but sometimes you just got to be like, motherfucker, God damn, you know, I mean, Jesus Christ, you got to say some rude shit and it's just like, you know, <clears throat> but you know, I chalk it up to this, you know, you know, every asshole in the world's got an opinion and those comment sections are just uh, their way of, you know, voicing their, you know, opinion. So I understand all that shit, I guess. But it's still, it's, you know, I get why, <clears throat> you know, there hasn't been a lot of them. And there's people that vlog, you know, I mean, fuck, you know, to do this YouTube thing, you got to have six, six, thick fucking skin because, you know, you people out there will just straight fucking destroy you know, any type of, uh, you know, whatever you get, if you get what I'm saying, like, you know, like, fuck, you know, we don't have to show you none of this shit, really. Uh, we do it because it's fun for us, you know, and we're learning a skill how to make videos, really, is all we're doing, you know, and we're trying to give back, like that thing with Justin Dow, I mean, I think that's a great thing, what he's starting there, you know, and, uh, you know, to give back for the technicians of tomorrow. I think that's a great idea. And Justin, fucking thumbs up on that, dude. I mean, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, me and him talked about it, and that was because of one of another viewer wanted to give something to Carlos. And I'm going to send some stuff to Carlos, too. I'm just waiting for uh, my guy to get in uh, the stuff I ordered. So, but I'm going to send some stuff out to Justin, and I think that's a good thing, you know, uh, you know, I mean, I don't think we need to be called douchebags in the comments eight fucking times. You know, I think that's a little wrong. And I think you guys should, uh, you know, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. You know, I mean, <clears throat> it's just, it's kind of frustrating sometimes that people are that, you know, that mean, really. You know, so <clears throat> that's really enough about that. Alrighty, well, I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. That's what we got going on here. And uh, the Snap-on Junkies world. Uh, I haven't bought any, you know, Snap-on stuff lately. Uh, just because I haven't seen my guy. And, you know, I got to work on paying the bill down a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty high right now. But that's nearly here to there. But uh, let's see. You know, uh, I still got some stickers for sale. Uh, visit the SnapOnJunkie.com on those. Um, what else do I got? I'll uh, visit my Instagram. Like I said, uh, you know, it's the Snap on Junkie or at the Snap on Junkie on Instagram. Uh, you know, be a part of my Instagram page because that's where I'm going to post a lot of the behind the scenes drag racing stuff when we get started doing that uh, at the end of the month. So uh, that's going to be a cool series because I'm going to take you guys along and show you all the bullshit. Uh, that not a lot of people know about so that's gonna be pretty sweet. But anyway, uh, I think that's all I got for today guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video Like I said if there's anybody out there uh, that would like to get in the trucking business I'm willing to you know teach you if you have a you know good driving record and all that stuff and you live in the Cincinnati area uh, Get a hold of me. Uh, you can email me uh, the links always in the description and stuff like that uh, I haven't got any ratchets to restore uh, lately. I'm still waiting on some stuff for Garnett ratchet over here. I got it all ready to go. I'm just waiting on that. So we'll put that back together uh, one day this week. Hopefully if we get the... Uh, I had to buy new uh, soft grip handles for it because the other one was fucking chewed up. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> we got that going on. So like I said, uh, that's really all I got going on today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Fuck all you hoes. Get a grip, motherfucker. Packing gats and stuff now. Honeys play me close like butter play coat. From the Mississippi down to the East Coast.